We bought this as a tray back white Grinner, I think it was. No power steering, no nothing. For 1500 bucks from memory. Um, first thing I did on it was the rear main seal so that it um, didn't leak oil all over my driveway. But um, and then it just took off from there. I bought this um, with my ex, ex partner actually, um, Alicia Andres. And um, we basically shaved it, um, put it on 20s, did the tub, AVS um, tail lights, little strips, all that sort of, all that sort of stuff. Got the interior done and everything, and it went um, a bright Fiat pink, basically. She drove it around. First show was actually Mini Madness, I think 2007, and she um, she run she won uh, runner-up best chicks truck behind Allison's truck back in the day, and we left that show, and she said, "Ah, oh, I want I want this thing to lay on the ground." So um, we got home. She saved up a little bit of money and it went to Sydney to Custom Works and where it had the, the chassis built um, and basically had the body drop done um, and the shortening. So it kind of went down there for a bag job. Then we decided to shorten it while it was down there and then she got talked into body dropping it and all that sort of stuff. So we, we did that and it sort of sat down there for a while and um, me and Alicia separated. We remained friends and all that stuff, but um, it sat down at Custom Works for a year and a bit until the day I said to her, oh, you know, I, I want to try and buy this car off you. Little bits on it are still the way that she kind of wanted it. Um, about two years later, she passed away in a car accident. Still gets to me a little bit, but even though we went together, we were, we were still friends, so, and I knew her for a long time. and. So this, this truck has a bit of sentimental value to me as well. Um, you know, when you look at it, there's still a lot of features on it that were, were her choice as well. So the 22 RE engine, I bought a 80, 86 Corona and took all the injection stuff off it and mated it to this block. I had it wired. I've hand sanded all the rocker cover and plenum and all that sort of stuff. and had all that painted so that's all smoothed just to give it a nice neat engine bay nothing over the top or crazy show worthy but enough that you can pop the bonnet and it, it looks cool um, I put uh, 18 inch boy Coddington's on the on for the <laughs> this is hard for the rims <laughs> uh, built specialties pretty much anything I can have mirrors steering wheel rear vision mirror I, I love built specialties so it's pretty good stuff and yeah, all the sheet metal and everything, I'm pretty picky, so everything had to be genuine. I couldn't stand aftermarket stuff, so everything you see on this is, is genuine. Did the interior a little bit and drove it around. Um, previous to being green, some of you might remember it being the Sheriff, which was just bare weld, bare everything. Didn't give a crap, drag it, rail it, do whatever. It was, it was really fun. I had, I remember I put the electric windows in and I had to join two wires together to make the window go up and down because I didn't have any switches. So it was, it was pretty funny. I'd be sitting there in the car trying to make the windows go up and down with an active and a, and a wire from your power windows, just touching them together to get it go down enough and then reverse it to make it go back up. I've had some good times in this car, but with, um, I've driven it, I drove it to ECC and wrong turn cruise when it was the sheriff. I've done uh, Central Coast Showdown in it. I've done Wrong Turn numerous times. Um, yeah, driven it around. I haven't made the big trip to Island Fever yet, maybe one day. But other than that, yeah, it's, um, it's basically, as you see it now, was built by a whole lot of mates, really. Uh, Jordan Fullerton, Forbidden Fantasy Australia. This is my bagged and bodied 85 Hilux. Uh, it was my first car 10 years ago, uh, it was bright fire hydrant red, um, static on moon caps and white walls and scallops down the side. Got the mini truck and bug, bagged at diff on in the back for about six months. Uh, lost my license from Defex on my P plates and decided to cut it up and go crazy with it. Um, it originally was meant to be bagged front and rear and then I wanted to zet it to make it lay flat and then I asked Taco if it was easier to zet it with the cab off and sure enough while the cab's off may as well body drop it 
and it just snowballed from there. Um, it's also got a 2000 model Hilux 3RZ in it. What else? 90s model two wheel drive bumper, um, body to rockers, new sills made, a few dressy bits in the interior, but it's nothing flash at the moment. Tried to get driving wise all right. Um, only been registered the last six months. It's been seven years in the build. Uh, so just ironing out kinks now. Um, get into it, best thing I ever did. Fell in love with the style and look of the cars. And then uh, the scene just tops it off. Uh, first show was Mini Madness 2011. And that was a wild weekend and made so many mates and great memories. Um, and it hasn't stopped since then. Halfway, ECC, CCS, all the great shows. Um, sadly, a few have gone now, but there's others taking their place and just as good, if not better. Now, since having two kids and got a wife, it's sort of slowed down for me, the, the scene side of it, but still deep into the car. And um, I follow it a lot on social media, which helps. Um, but definitely get out to a show if you can. It's the best thing ever. Mini trucking is about being out of the norm. Pulling up to a local car meet and laying out in the car park and just watch everyone snap their neck going, what has just happened? And then getting out pr proud as punch next to your truck. Like, yeah, <laughs> there's stuff that does this. <laughs> yeah, you, you wouldn't have known unless you've seen it. It's wild, definitely, definitely hot rodding as a background. Uh, a lot of inspiration to this being an older truck for me. And so that's why I've kind of tried to keep the look with the visors and the peep mirrors and the billet accessories inside and the shifters up past your shoulder. And um, definitely I was into that sort of thing, then saw mini trucking and found that that was an aspect and could combine the two without the dollars spent on hot rods. <laughs> Money was a big factor for me being an apprentice mechanic when I first started building it. Uh, so getting into mini trucking was easy because there was cheap mods to start with. It, it did snowball but it was still all reasonably cheap with the help of a lot of mates uh, which was the best way to do it in my, I don't know, in my opinion for me.